Okay, um, I have um, a Lenovo Yoga uh, 510 uh, laptop which um, the customer is complaining that it's running very slow uh, and he wants me to uh, reset it to factory defaults. Um, so the way you do that, um, uh, so this is the um, uh, laptop in question and um, we're going to uh, reset it to factory defaults uh, now. So the way you do that is if you get yourself um, say a small pin uh, similar to that uh, okay and on the side um, on the left hand side you'll see a little uh, pinhole um, with um, so if you press uh, that little pinhole uh, in there while it's off uh, it will power up uh, into a menu uh, which is uh, what you see there now if I focus it a little bit okay uh, so uh, and just basically select um, well you've got um, an option to start a uh, normal startup your BIOS setup uh, boot menu or system recovery which uh, we are going to select system recovery because he wants me to put it back to its original factory setting so while we wait for that to uh, boot up it will give you another menu so as I said this is the Lenovo Yoga 510 um, and so it's given you this um, it's given you two options you can either uh, restore from initial backup or restore from uh, user users backup um, we are going to pick option one which is restore from initial backup so we're just gonna click on that and uh, we're going to start the process yeah it's just asking you that um, you will lose all uh, data um, your personal data your personal files basically uh, will be lost so yeah we we'll carry on yeah restoring okay so as you can see there, it's um, restoring it from a hidden partition and it's uh, at the moment initializing the uh, uh, disk which basically means it's formatting the hard disk where it's going to copy the uh, uh, files onto. Um, now, uh, even though it uh, is not actually counting up yet, it seems that it's not actually doing anything. Um, so you've got no remaining time at the moment um, but you've got your elapsed time now um, uh, it's not copying the files currently because it's still formatting the disk it will take about three minutes uh, to format the disk before it starts copying the files so um, we're just gonna have to uh, wait for that to start Um, so I'll, I'll turn off the recording for the time being and we'll carry it on um, closer to the three minute mark okay okay so now it started 
copying the files over um, and you can see the lapse time is at 3 minutes 32 seconds um, so now you've also got your time remaining obviously 5 hours is not the correct uh, uh, estimated time but that will go down as you can see um, so that, that will come down to about 30 minutes um, copying the files over so yeah uh, just leave that till it um, till it reaches 100% and the computer will automatically well it will ask you to restart uh, it will inform you that the uh, process is completed and uh, the computer will ask you to shut it down or to reboot it so yeah um, we'll um, come back to that um, when it's near 100% basically ok ok um, it's just about finishing uh, the uh, copying um, so it should come up with a uh, yep, system restoration complete. Uh, press OK. Uh, done. And it'll ask you to reboot. Uh, that's probably not going to reboot. Is it? Reboot. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, this part is going to um, configure uh, Windows for its uh, first use. Uh, so as you're installing uh, Windows. Yeah. Just wait for it to uh, load up. Takes a bit of time. So yeah, that's basically how the um, one key recovery works um, on the Lenovo Yoga uh, 510. Uh, this um, specific model is the four, uh, 510 14 AST. Um, so uh, let's change the country region to United Kingdom which is where we're at uh, next so I just basically um, go through the uh, uh, setup process mm, the configurations um, laptop name password um, the uh, Wi-Fi network if you want it connected uh, at the moment I don't really want to because I want to use um, a local local settings <clears throat> I don't want to log on to uh, I uh, say Microsoft or Google or anything like that that's the reason why I don't um, connect to a network at this particular point in time um, so otherwise if you select a network it will ask you to enter an email address which I don't want to do so it will um, restart several times uh, then Cortana will um, 
come on and ask you some questions. It's just the same as uh, setting up Windows 10 uh, for the very first time. But uh, yeah, we'll just go through that uh, right now. <coughs> So the process takes a little bit of uh, time, but it really depends on uh, the specification uh, that you have there. This one has 8 gig of uh, um, RAM and uh, I think 1 terabyte of um, disk space. Uh, but uh, yeah, uh, hopefully once it's um, installed Windows 10, uh, it will be uh, a lot faster when you use it. It's just uh, this particular point in time, uh, it needs to restart several times to set it up. Yeah. This is the boring bit, I'd say. Yeah. It's got to be done. Still doing it. <coughs> I should have uh, paused the video, but you can you can always um, skip to the relevant parts of the video that you want. Okay. Right. Uh, I'll just put um, username as uh, laptop, and I can't spell. Uh, yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not going to put a password. It's not mine, so um, I'd rather not put uh, a password. I'd rather uh, let the uh, customer put their own passwords mm, when they get it. Mm -hmm. So it's going to restart again. Okay. Still configuring itself. So, as I said, this bit's the boring bit because you've got to wait for the machine to uh, do its thing, and sometimes it takes ages. Well, not ages, but it takes a bit of time.
Yeah, so hopefully it's nearly finished. Um, and that's basically what uh, uh, how it's done. Uh, the one key uh, recovery. So just to recap, when the um, uh, when the computer is uh, it off, um, just use a uh, pin. Yeah. Uh, so just uh, just use something like this, a pin, uh, and on the side here uh, there's a little uh, pinhole and just press the switch behind there to get a menu uh, either uh, that menu when it comes up it'll, it'll, it'll give you the option to start normally to um, enter by your setup um, uh, to do um, boot menu and the last one is the system recovery yeah, so it really depends on uh, what you choose if you want to do a system recovery choose system recovery and after that it will uh, reboot and it will give you another two options uh, whether to start um, um, from the initial backup or the user backup um, to do factory default you select the initial backup and so here it is it's um, uh, finished configuring it um, and that's basically it that's basically how you restore it to factory defaults uh, and now here you can actually um, connect it to your um, internet if you want to so mine is this one here, and um, password is J. Okay. okay. <coughs> Did I type in the wrong one? Yeah. Okay. I reckon I typed in the wrong one again. Yeah, I did. Okay, let's try it the third time. Third time lucky, maybe? There you go, connected. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, I don't like any hidden icons, so I usually leave them on the taskbar. Uh, and there you have it. Now the next step that what I normally do is to actually do the um, updates, which is here. So normally check for updates, get them loaded up for ready for the customer to pick up. Um, so yeah, I download all the updates from Microsoft. Um, and so on and so forth. So yeah, that's basically how you do it. Um, hope that's uh, helpful. Uh, click subscribe, like, uh, and share my videos. And um, watch my other videos. Um, on, on my channel. Okay, thanks for watching.